moving closer to first pitch here in San Francisco. It's the Rangers and Giants one more time, and it's coming up next. Now from the beautiful city by the bay, MLB The Show comes to you from San Francisco. AT&T Park, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, we'll see a rematch from the 2010 World Series, as it'll be the Texas Rangers taking on the San Francisco Giants. And hi again, everybody, with Dave Campbell and Eric Karros by my side, Matt Vaskersian, getting you set for what should be a good contest in soup. Let's hand the honors to you first. What are you watching in this one? Well, one thing you're going to get when these two teams match up are plenty of long balls. Both finished in the top ten in the majors and home runs last year, so there's always the possibility we'll have a slugfest on our hands. All right, Dave, thank you, and we'll hear from Mr. Karros in a moment, but first let's check out the starting lineup for the defending American League champion Texas Rangers, brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll match up against the guy they call the Freak, two-time National League Cy Young Award winner, the right-hander Tim Lincecum. And there you see look now at the Giants defensive alignment behind him. Into the box is the leadoff man Elvis Andrus and we are set to go here from San Francisco. First pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Lincecum ready, the 0-1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. A swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. And this is a nice way to settle into a ball game. A good slider there for the punch out. And that'll help you get in rhythm and get you mentally involved right from the outset. So one away now, and here's Ian Kinsler. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And the pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. DeRosa comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Well, Matty, two up, two down. He's looking for a one, two, three first inning. Josh Hamilton will stand in here, the reigning batting champion in the American League.
And here's strike one now. And you know the Giants pitching staff last year really was what gave him the world title, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, they're one through four. Lincecum, Kane, Sanchez, Bumgarner. You don't get any breaks in that group. And even with a great bullpen topped off by Wilson at the back, I still think it's one of the deepest pitching staffs in all of baseball. Starting lineup for the host Giants looks like this. It again comes courtesy of State Farm. C.J. Wilson will be on the mound to face them, and if he's going to be successful against these hitters, he's going to need to keep the ball down in the strike zone without question. And in the field behind him, the Rangers will look like this. Andres Torres will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And here's strike one now to the Giants' leadoff hitter. And talking about the Giants, E.K., what kind of chances do you give them to repeat? Well... It'll be tough, and they've got the talent, they've got all the pieces, but we haven't had a repeat winner since the Yankees in 99 and 2000. And just getting to the postseason is tough enough, but once you get there, it's really a free-for-all. I think the Giants have a pitching staff that's good enough to get them to the postseason again, but to win it back-to-back, -back, you have to have a lot of good fortune. With one away, a look there at the dimensions at AT&T Park here in San Francisco. Alphabet Park, as a colleague of mine likes to put it in his own inimitable, tired fashion. You see the big number, 429 out to right center, the so-called triples alley. It's one of the deepest in all of baseball. Leadoff man retired now for Freddie Sanchez. Throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hitting his spots with a fastball now. Got him to swing right through it. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Cruz is there. Two down. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but this is one of those situations where. You, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. So two men are gone now for Aubrey Huff. First offering on the way. And here's a pitch taken by Huff for ball one. And say what you will about the big seasons posted by Lincecum, Wilson, Posey. Aubrey Huff may have been their most surprising story a year ago. Yeah, I think through the course of the entire season, I think you could make a case for that. And 26 home runs, 86 driven in. He really found himself a home in San Francisco. And I know for a fact that he was thrilled to finally make it to a postseason last year. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And now with two strikes and two outs, he's looking square in the face of a one, two, three bottom of the first. On a big swing as he takes this one to the opposite field. High and deep to left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. That was the first hit of the ball game there for either side. A two-out double here in the bottom of the first. So now at least their cleanup hitter will get it at bat with a runner in scoring position here. Buster Posey will dig in here. Now a ball 
hit hard towards the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Giants come up empty in the first. We'll go to the second from San Francisco. No score on the show. Adrian Beltre will get an opportunity now. And he comes in following a year in which he was named the American League's silver slugger for third baseman. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. There to take it is Ross, and he's got it for the first out. Needed just nine pitches to get through the first inning, and he's off to another fast start here in the second. So one away now. Here's Nelson Cruz. Lincecum will start him with a good changeup for strike one. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Now Lincecum's one two. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. Throw on to Huff now, and there are two down. Well, there's a reason why this guy's got a Cy Young in his cabinet. Good start here. Five up and five down. Mitch Moreland will be the batter. First pitch now from Lincecum. Fouled straight back. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's a strike as well. Nothing in two. And the economy of pitches has been one of his strong suits so far. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. That's just the eighth pitch of the inning. He could get out of here with single digits for the second straight frame. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at second. Throw on to Huff will be in time, and with it, the side is retired. So a very good inning there for Tim Lincecum. Still nothing, nothing. Cody Ross will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming from Wilson. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Whether you like it or not, now that you've seen what the strike zone's going to be like, you're going to have to make an adjustment. And this is fouled straight back. Now pitch on the way. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And this is swung on and missed, and Ross is set down on strikes for the first out. This is one of those guys that you can spend all your time in the video room watching what his pitches look like, but until you get out there and see it firsthand, you just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. Leadoff man gone now for Mark DeRosa. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Kinsler on to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So the base is empty with two away now for Tejada. It's coming. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. 
But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Giants down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And that's going to bring up a guy that originally broke into the big leagues wearing a giant uniform, Yorvit Torrealba. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. One and one. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. And it looks like he's found a nice release point on that curveball. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Too high. Ball three. This is a big pitch coming up. You do not want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless ball game. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that'll qualify as the Rangers' first hit. Julio Bourbon will stand in. In there, 0-1. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. C.J. Wilson will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. up the bunt attempt. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. One there on the first and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault out there at second base. Well the defense was clearly on the lookout for the bunt there and they were all over it. So two are gone here in the Rangers third and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. And this pitch is hit foul for strike one. And looking at this Texas ball club, one would think they'd be in a good position to make another run at things this year. I, I think so. I, I mean, they're fortunate to play in the only four-team division in baseball. And I think they ought to be pretty heavy favorites to advance in the postseason. Whether or not they can repeat as AL champs, I think a lot of it will come down again to the starting pitching. Slider, ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Wow, and you can bet he was saving that pitch. Good job to lay off. Ooh, awfully close to strike three. Probably should have been strike three. Instead, it's two and two now. Swing and a bouncing ball behind second. And a low throw, but Huff's able to dig this one out, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we amazingly are all tied. Pablo Sandoval will step in now. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And gone for a home run. A solo shot here for Pablo Sandoval as the Giants are staked to a 1 0 lead. Well, he got out in front of this quite a bit, and I didn't know if it was going to stay fair, but you'll see here this ball just barely hooks inside that foul pole. Tim Lincecum will get his first cuts here. <laughs> A 
First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. And now you got to snap back in a hurry. You cannot dwell on that home run ball. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Well, this isn't the greatest swing you're going to see. Pitchers don't get a lot of time in the cage, mind you, but this one works out for him. Andres Torres will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Swing and a miss, strike one. And that's the pitch he needs to go back to. That big-time fastball. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Hamilton will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Freddie Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And they got him. Boy, his feet were stuck in the mud there. just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, including the home run, no errors, and no one left. Ian Kinsler will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And a good fastball here as he pops him up back behind second base. Sanchez is under it to put it away, and it's a quick one pitch out to begin the fourth. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And as you can see there, both guys topping out at 96 miles an hour. And he'll go after the second pitch of the inning as this is on the ground over to first. And out at first as he almost beat him to the bag that time, but the foot just beats the runner for route number two. Well, this ball's hit so sharply that even with a bobble, he knows he has time to recover. So he doesn't panic and winds up making the play. First two men retired now for Adrian Beltre. And here's another first pitch strike. And he's just running rough shot right through this lineup. They just have not put up much of a fight. I totally agree. He's had his way out there from the word go. Therefore, it is Sanchez. Throw to first here is in time to record the final out, and the Giants get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Well, Matt, the fans here got treated to an awfully good game, partner, but this one was tight throughout, and one run wound up being the margin of victory. The Giants couldn't have done it here without the start turned in by this man, Tim Lincecum. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matt, there's no debate in my mind. The thing I liked was the way he really challenged these hitters. Nothing fancy. He just went right after him. That allowed him to throw the shutout. So that will just about do it for Dave Campbell, Eric Carroll, and our entire San Diego-based crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, the show. For more, don't forget to check us out online at theshownation.com. The Giants are victorious here, one to nothing. Good night from San Francisco.